Welcome to Kencho Quest. In this video, I'm going to show you what's in our kids' day pack backpacks. If you're new here to Kencho Quest, our family is traveling long term. So this is what they would carry in their backpacks for a long day out sightseeing, a hike, or these are also the same bags they would take as their carry-on personal item on an airplane flight. One, two, three, Aloha. Aloha. We are Kencho Quest. We travel to open our minds and our hearts. We have three kids, our oldest is eight, then we have a three and a half year old and a one year old toddler. I've packed similar items for them. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about emergency preparedness and what items we should have ready to go. But I realized that in an emergency, we might not always be able to get home to gather items. So for each kid, I've packed them a little kit. And this is something that will always stay with them when we're out and about. So my babies will be in the diaper bag and then my daughter and son will have them packed in their backpacks. So say, for instance, if we couldn't get home one night and had to spend a night away from home, they'd have a toothbrush, they'd have a clean change of clothes. First of all is an item that's not actually in the backpack, but our oldest two have one of these iMoo watches. And what this does is we can video call them from our cell phone. It also has GPS tracking, so we can use the app and find their location. So that's great if we were to get separated. Now for the backpack itself, our eight-year-old has an Osprey Daylight. My husband's really insistent on keeping the backpack small and lightweight, so we're not putting too much weight on our kid's back. I really like a backpack that has functional outside water bottle pockets, so he's able to fit his Hydro Flask insulated water bottle there, and he could also carry his sister's as well, but that could get a little bit heavy. There's a couple other items on the outside of the bag. We have a hero clip here. This is great if he ever needs to hang up his backpack, maybe riding on something like a bus, he could hang this in front of him. Out here is kind of a little safety measure item. They have a whistle, so if they were to need to get somebody's attention, they could use that. This has one small outside pocket. In here we have a trash bag, just in case we're somewhere and we need to throw something away or we need to put something wet into a plastic bag. One snack, that's something that would switch out each time we'd refill the water bottles and put a fresh snack. And then it's nice to have a really small compact flashlight. This is actually my flashlight I keep in my purse, but it's really great. We're hoping to find something similar for our kids. Super lightweight, you never know when the power might go out or you might end up out after dark, even unintentionally. Now let's take a look inside. He has a baseball cap hat. His hoodie sweater, this is something we would take sometimes, but not necessarily always. We're in really hot tropical climates, but if we're going somewhere like a hike and we might be out kind of late or somewhere with really cold air conditioning, then we'd all bring along our hoodies. He can fit his iPad in here, so if it was an airplane day and we were going to be flying, he would also have his iPad in there. Now for each kid, I've packed one of these small Cotopaxi packing cubes. These are really small, but this is a little kit for them to have with them all the time. Right on top here, I have a little notepad, and after filming this, I'm going to add in our phone numbers and our address, so if they were to get separated and need to contact us, they would have that. Also in some kind of emergency situation, if they needed to leave a little note for somebody, they also have a mechanical pencil in there to go along with it. Or sticky notes can be a little entertainment on the airplane. So one pair of long pants, sweatpants and underwear, if it were to get cold or need a change of clothes. One wool silk tank top as his extra spare shirt and a long sleeve merino wool shirt. So this is kind of the be prepared for any situation. If you end up needing long sleeve for bug protection, sun protection, or it gets colder, a wool shirt is really great to have. We also have one pair of socks. Sometimes those come in handy, even for a trampoline or bounce house. Then we each have one of these plastic rain ponchos. These are just super simple, but it's definitely foreseeable here in Thailand that we could get caught in a deluge and have something to keep you a bit dry. Each kid has a little Kleenex tissue pack. Often the toilets here in Thailand do not have toilet paper, so it's always good to have some just in case. Sometimes it's there for sale, but it's best to bring your own. And some little wet wipes as well, because you never know when you're gonna get messy. 
I have kind of a fun item here, these little vitamin C tablets. They're a bit more like candy, but just if my kids were to need a little pick-me-up. They have a toothbrush with cap. Again, in case we were to be out longer than we expected and they can freshen up with their toothbrush. These are Buzz Patch stickers. They're a little insect repellent, a natural citronella based one where you can just stick one of these stickers onto your clothes. I would also pack them in my main pack, but these are extras just in case if we end up with a lot of mosquitoes and I forgot to bring mine. And then one more plastic baggie. They could also repurpose these plastic baggies if they needed to as trash bags or to carry items. They have four extra disposable face masks. We always try to remember to bring an extra, but sometimes you forget. Sometimes the kids walk out the door and forget they're not wearing a mask. One little hand sanitizer and some alcohol wipes, either for cleaning their hands or maybe if somebody gets a scrape. So those are the items that I feel are just good for us to always have on hand, especially where we're traveling right now in Thailand. Things like bug repellent, tissues, rain poncho can definitely come in handy. I'll show you real quick a little bit differences in my other kids' cubes. For my three and a half year old daughter, we have pretty similar items. One thing I've realized is she's outgrown this a cute little adorable backpack. These water bottle pockets are not functional and can fit her little kit in there, but I wouldn't be able to fit this and her sweater and her water bottle all in here. So I think pretty soon we're going to have to upgrade her. This is just getting too small. She was about a year old when we got it. The hero clip has come in quite handy with hers to just hook this off our backpack if she gets tired of carrying hers. My daughter always likes to bring a little toy along, so depending on the day, she might switch that out. She also has her iMoo watch, her hydro flask, her hoodie sweater, and I think just a couple differences inside her kit. She also has a small wet bag, so if she were to need to change her clothes, then she could put her wet clothes into here. This is waterproof. She added some Mentos candy in there that they used from Experiment, but then she started eating her emergency rations early. Thank you to Buzzpatch for sending us those stickers to try out. My daughter also has kind of a little first aid kit in here with bandages and some alcohol prep pads and some disinfecting pads. These little stasher bags are great for making kits like this. She has a little keychain that she can use kind of like a whistle to make sound. That was her idea. And this also makes sound. She's been thinking about this. She has a hair tie and hair clip that she also remembered to pack. So very similar items with just a couple extra ones. I would like to make another little first aid kit like this for my sons if I can find my other stasher bags. I'm afraid my toddler might have thrown them away since he's in the phase of putting everything in the trash can. Now for my one-year-old toddler, he does not carry a backpack, but I would carry these items in her backpack diaper bag. He has his own insulated hydro flask. He has his own little kit. And then I made sort of a first aid kit for the family with alcohol prep pads, disinfecting wipes, bandages, and our face sunscreen. I would like to get an individual sunscreen for each kid to have. Hand sanitizer in there as well. And my sticky notes and some permanent markers, just in case. And I also carry along our homeopathic remedies kit since we're into natural things like that. It has things to relieve bug bites, motion sickness, allergies, just a whole lot of things you may encounter while traveling. My baby's kit is pretty similar, but he has less items in here. He has just a short sleeve change of clothes because you know with babies, you never know when they're gonna get messy. Then he has the same sort of items of a tank top, a long pair of wool pants, a long sleeve wool shirt, two pairs of wool socks. We have not been wearing socks lately, but just in case he has his toothbrush and again, the tissue packs and wet wipes. And I would carry other wipes and such as well. These are just the, when you ran out or you forgot to pack them, backup ones. My husband and I each also have a similarly packed packing cube, but instead of carrying this around every day in our day pack, these are already packed in our family's carry-on bag, just in case we were need to very quickly get to the airport. So we've got quite similar items in here as far as clothes. We've got our post-it notes. We each have a hoodie sweater. It's got some boxers, a long sleeve wool shirt, 
a wool tank top, a pair of wool socks, and some hand sanitizer, alcohol wipes, and extra face masks again. So this we probably won't be using until an airplane day, but I realize it's a good idea to have our carry-on bag all packed and ready to go, just in case if we were to need to leave a lot quicker than we expected. I will leave links in the description box below to as many of these products as I can. Please let me know in the comments if there's something you love to pack in your kids' day pack that I left out. I'm trying to be a bit more prepared these days. Please subscribe and turn on notifications for more packing tips, travel hacks, and inspiration to travel as a family.